Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and I'm here to bring you a Q&A announcement. I'm not sure when this Q&A will be released, but probably sometime in the next week, so be sure to leave your questions in the description. However, I can't stand putting out a video with no content, so what we're going to do is read some Lucas Werner quotes. Lucas Werner is a man from Spokane, Washington, who came into prominence when he was kicked out of a Starbucks for hitting on an underage barista. It turns out the guy is absolutely obsessed with young women, and he has a number of ways to justify this. This isn't going to be a full-length video or anything, probably, but let's read some posts so you can get an idea of what makes this strange man tick. My mom and stepdad have been cutting Christmases and birthdays down for the past maybe five years so they can afford to move back to Arizona to retire again. Last year, I got a used laptop that broke. They think they're funny. The last time I talked to Larry, he was telling me how they were having the pool dug. Many of you know I was homeless for about six months in 2012. I actually had to call the hospital one night because I was f afraid I was going to die of hypothermia sleeping in a cold, rainy alleyway one November. Ended up in the hospital with a numb foot that still has no feeling in it today. The nerve of some people. Money is no object if you don't have it, but it's always something you say if you have it. Okay, I think he was like 33 when he made this post. I was also given a used laptop for last Christmas, and I'm pretty thankful for it because that's the only reason I've been able to make weekday videos this whole time. But let's keep reading here. There are these two gorgeous women sitting here outside Starbucks speaking French. Okay, two problems. The first one, of course, is that they're speaking French. The second, more obvious problem is that they're women, and even French women have not evolved to the point of approaching sad men taking a lovely photograph, completely aware to them sitting behind them in public. Because our society still frowns on the social taboo of younger women being into men old enough to be their father. But if it were two guys and a sad woman taking photographs, the men could, without social taboo, approach the sad woman. Alright, that is pathetic. Lucas, it's not because of any social taboo. Why the hell would these young attractive women want to approach some fat guys 20 years older than them? Especially if he looks sad, and they don't speak his language. Why would they want to talk to anyone who's moping around? Anyway, let's read on. Millennial women, why are you ageist against dating Generation X? I place this squarely on the women over there on their phones trying to find a date on Friday and Saturday nights, ignoring me and ignorant to your bigotry. Hashtag ageism. I think he also uses the term millennial incorrectly. Because I'm a millennial and it goes up to like 34 or something. I think he might be talking about Generation Z. Let's continue though. All I want is one beautiful burger at Red Robin with one beautiful woman between 18 and 22. Hook that up and you too will get a beautiful burger at Red Robin as well. After that initial meeting. Or we can do a double date or two women and me. Whatever the French call that. Uh, menage a trois, I guess. Wishful thinking for a guy who can't even get one date. Can you imagine condemning one of your female friends to a date with Lucas for the price of one burger? I sure can't. I heard somewhere that people on disability don't have to repay college loans. That alone makes me want to get a doctorate in temporal physics surrounded by 18-year-old college chicks. I am into a little bit of time. Are physics majors surrounded by women in college? Admittedly, I don't know. Here we have some of the worst food porn I've ever seen. By the way, I might consider covering bad food porn for a video sometime. Let me know if that sounds like a good idea or not. This isn't going to be a full video, so let's read one more horrible post and then I'll call it a day. We really need to raise the age of consent on males to 35. Breeding with them causes telomere attrition and incest is illegal because of inbreeding. Not only that, telomere overabundance causes anger, depression, stress, a weaker immune system, and cancer later in life from exposure. No wonder people under 35 are always breaking up. If you're a woman under 26 in Spokane, your body produces the highest amount of progesterone it ever will which makes you very immune-boosting to be my lover and most fertile. Everything about you is what I need. Women mature 11 years sooner than me because I'm a man, and this youth cultural age phobia from women under 26 towards men over 35 sucks. I have an apartment now, and I'll take you out to eat anywhere in town just to get to know you better. I haven't had sex in five years. Let's talk about you. I've lost 200 pounds since 2007. I have a little money in the bank, enough to treat you to dinner once a week until the situation gets a little better. And you, we can spend the night together. I'm writing a book about ageism. My parents have money. 
I'm a democratic socialist. I like to give food away to the homeless. I've given away over $3,000 since 2012. Always happy to do it. I hope you're swell. I cry myself to sleep a lot, but I'm always laughing too. Most people who meet me think I'm a pretty good dude. Anything for you. All I need is a, hey, email me for my website. We'll go out. I wish you well. Have a nice day and have a heart. Let's date. All right, so he's talking about his pseudoscience here. I'll do more research if I actually make a video on him. He is a YouTuber, by the way. Hasn't uploaded in five months, but he does have 1,400 subscribers. If I didn't mention his age, he is 38 currently. Anyway, thanks to all my subscribers for 15,000. Now make sure to leave your question in the comments here and let me know if you think Lucas Werner is a good subject for an upcoming video. I am going to confirm that I'm covering Chris Chan again soon, and tonight I will be making a viewer submitted neckbeard stories video, so that should be fun too. Have a great day everyone, and don't be ageist.